Hey, I just wanted to do a quick little update about the comic and how it's going and stuff for those people who watch me for comic stuff. A really casual like video about the process because I know some people like that and also I was looking at my old Emily is Burning vlogs and I realised that I really like them as well if that makes sense like I was looking back and I was like oh yeah that's how I did that and found it a little bit inspiring so last time we spoke this was kind of where the character design was heading um, then I did this Pinterest page which was not really involved with the comic but it kind of loosened me up and made me think more about the looseness of the style of the comic that I wanted to do. So here are more like character designs. I know that I wanted her to be um, Asian and I don't know why but I just had it in my head that she has this look. Just drawing different characters that I found on Pinterest and stuff. I really like the style of this one and I definitely always have been using pencil in the past, black pencil like I told you um, guys before. Hang on. Like in my old comics where I've used pencil, I've used pencil before and then alcohol markers and I do really like the look of that but I was thinking what I want to do is kind of mix it up a bit this time and use pen. I know that's crazy to say considering I've been very like <laughs> hung up on this pencil but I think I've just been leaning more towards inks this time. Uh, this is just like an experimental page. Then I did, yeah, because I did this with inks and basically the story is about, because I'm going to do two short stories again, the same way I did with the other comics where I had two short stories. And this one is going to be based on a girl who gets something from an antique store that maybe she shouldn't have. So I want the end pages to be similar to Emily's Burning. These are the end papers, you know, when you have the front and just before the story and the end. So I'm going to do this pattern here for this comic. But I'm thinking what I want to do, I like it like this, but I don't know whether to continue it, just to have a whole A4 paper or leave it like this. I also did it with a Tombow pen, which is where, where all my pens are gone now because I've been spread out over my desk because I've just been drawing. Tombow brush pen that I did this one with. I just drew it straight, no pencil lines, anything. And then I used alcohol markers on top, which seemed to be fine. It did smudge slightly in some spots, but we were good, we were good. So I'm kind of trusting the alcohol pens, um, the ink pen not to smudge too much. So then I was looking at her character design again, and if I'm not gonna use pencil, what am I gonna use? I still really like the design with her face here, with the pencil. And I'm not sure whether that's because I drew it with pencil with the ink pen. I was trying out different uh, brush pens, so this one's slightly new and this one's like an old Pentel brush pen, so you can get these like really nice um, dry brush strokes, if that makes sense, that I really like working with. I think it adds something to it. Um, so I was experimenting with what the backgrounds would look like with this kind of style of pen. And I did this background and it's super slanted but I would it would be like that on the page and I was thinking like oh how would how would I put her into this background even though this is just practice and I was thinking about tracing paper again because in the past I've experimented with using tracing paper on images and things and I was just having fun having a little play again thinking about her design and like how to display her I don't know I think I'm just going off on a tangent but I'm, I'm circling back around so it's gonna be fine and then I was just drawing out her character a little bit more so I feel like this is kind of where I'm leaning towards her character design being and I am enjoying using this brush pen and the alcohol markers so using this old brush pen and just drawing characters a little creepy image because this is a horror book after all and I revamped the script a lot too, which sounds silly because it's only like, it's gonna be 20 pages of comic. And I've just gone in and written like little edits where I've just reread it because I haven't reread it for a while. And then I've just thought I should reread this and see if I actually like how it is. And I've just added a few things that would make more sense to the story. And yeah, I'm definitely enjoying it better. I think I'm really excited about the ending now because there's just something little I've added to it that makes it whole. Whereas before I was like, it's okay, it's a nice, it's a, it's a good story, but 
what is the point of it kind of thing and now I feel like I've added that missing piece and it's just it's just made me excited to work on it again so what I did was a while ago I did the thumbnails for this when the script I just like got the thumbnails out for some reason like really fast without like thinking about it too much um, and I don't know why because now I'm like that doesn't really work but I've got some basis of what I can use so I blew up all the well I scanned these in and then I blew them all up to fit how it would look on a page for an A A5 image. A5 comic so roughly you know what it would look like as this uh, size so yeah I'm just going through and figuring out the thumbnails I think what I'll literally do is go through these and like draw on top of it just to get the rough outline of it and then I can see the story as a whole and I can reevaluate and think about where I want to go from there but this is it so far <laughs> this will become this hopefully and it's going really well and I am really enjoying it it's hard work because I'm working full time so I'm just doing it after work and like on weekends and stuff and you know that time not everybody always feels super productive so it's slow going sometimes I just feel like doing nothing other times I have to do like YouTube or little things like that you know it's slow go um, but we're getting there and slowly they're fleshing out the characters the only thing is uh, I finished the script for the other short story which is called string about the theme park not theme park the haunted water park I guess we could call it and uh, I really like that script as well like really happy with it now uh, I've just got to think about the character designs and the background and settings for that one as well I think I've totally been focused on this first one and I don't know why I don't I definitely can't work on them simultaneously so I need to work I need to do this one finish it then work on the next one which is what I did with wishing on a star and slow disappearance um, but yeah totally going great um, really thinking about what to do next so that's it for me this is a really short just like 10 minute update and I hope that you liked it let me know in the comments what your thoughts are so far and everything still thinking of a name for this character and yeah that's it so thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time bye